right, good morning. House on a club dig today. I've dug loads already and it's all been like bits of brass, bits of copper. It's not been done before, so you expect to find all this. Looks like I'll be digging a lot. Just had a bag seal. It's got something on it. Let's have a look later. We're digging plenty of targets. Lots for the scrapbook, you though. But it's not like tin cans and stuff, it's big bits of brass and stuff, so that's okay. Oh, a giant bullet. A lead bullet. That's a big one. <laughs> Last I've got a silver. I think my friend just cleaned it off and he thinks it's a four pence, a groat, or a three pence. It looks worn. But wait while you see the amount of scrap from my buckets I've found. Not as in scrap waste like cans, but like big pieces of lead and so I'm happy now. Woohoo! I haven't really been filming today. Don't know why it's a gorgeous day. I found bag seals and small coins, buttons. So yeah. I lift you up, not too much. There's a lot of stuff on these fields, a lot of signals. I'm just digging the clod up, hello? Can you see it? <laughs> I think it's a big old penny. Not silver. Cool, which is there. Right, here's my roundup. I dug over a hundred targets today. This is the realities of a field up north. <laughs> and out of the hundred targets, I got one good find, which I'll show you. But it'll be at the end, so I'll try and be very quick. All that is lead. Huge pieces. It was weighing me down. I went and changed the bag pouch three times. <laughs> then all these bits of bronze and copper. <laughs> Look at that big giant nail. The rivets. God knows. There's an old padlock. A spoon. That's like a maybe gas tap, a lid, rusty buckle. So you see, <laughs> it was rough. Every, there's at least 20 of us there and everyone got the same amount. And the best of it, which is not that good really. <laughs> All them buttons. Big giant bullet. Part of a buckle. A bit of fancy. Um, I think that lead was something. Don't know if that's half a button or half a coin. Got some bail seals. Got number four, one, one, one. I can't read anything on that. That one says Paris from four on the back. It's possibly sugar sugar or flour or something like that. And then that one. Again, I can't make it out. don't know which way it is. See that way. Or is it that way? <laughs> I've got a marble to put in the bottles. My friend found the watch winder. Then I've got six coins, half penny, 
George the Third, Penny a mod Penny, a George Farthing Lights terrible trying to adjust <laughs> and that I scrubbed it really hard because I thought it was a 5p at one point I saw one cent but now it's all gone so I think it's a cent one cent and then my best find of the day after I took out all them targets I got a Victoria three pence I haven't got the date yet because it needs cleaning a bit more. It's very worn. It's early Victoria by the looks of her. So one silver coin. All the hard work. The back's very crusty. <laughs> I'll try and find a date. So that's it. So I'm a bit aching today, <laughs> but it was lovely weather, we had good company, shout out to Paul and Lynn, hope to see you on the next one, and thanks everybody for watching, thanks for commenting and subscribing, so next time you're out, or whatever you're doing, good luck and best wishes, bye for now, bye.